Hello, and yes, I have another mini handbag review, limited handbag review, because I've only had this bag for roughly um, a week, week and a half. Um, but it is another great, what I consider to be COVID carry handbag, and it is the Prada Reissue 2005 crossbody bag. And I love this bag. So let me just go over a little bit why I, I got this bag. I got this bag because I wanted something that was a little bit dur durable in the sense that I could take it out, not necessarily like take it out in the rain because who would do that, but take it out in kind of all kinds of weather and um, use it a little bit more freely, in, you know, around town and just not, not, not that I didn't care so much, but not care so, so much about it getting dirty or water stains or anything of that nature. I also really wanted something else in silver hardware. I have a Gucci Marmont from the summer collection, the light blue, but I did feel like this one was a silver option that had a little bit more of a casual vibe to it. And I, I saw it on the website and I, I really fell in love with it. Uh, also, I thought that this would kind of have the same look feel to the multi pochette, which I had tried on in store and I didn't purchase. And then I regretted that and I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. And then the price increase, um, and I ended up scoring that bag actually right before the price increase. So I have that one too. I just have it. I've been using this one nonstop since I got it just to try it out, test it out. It hasn't gotten that many places because it is, you know, COVID time. <laughs> and so we are on complete lockdown in SoCal. So I haven't gotten too many places, but I do have a, a significant amount of elderly family members and we are solely responsible for going and helping them with their groceries or yesterday we picked up dirt for my dad, we picked up gardening dirt. So there have been a few things, even if I don't get out of my car, I'm still gonna take a bag. And like I've said in previous videos, I am not leaving the house even to go on a walk or my daughter going on a bike ride without a bag in this time because I wanna have the mask handy, I wanna have a hand sanitizer handy, I want my essentials with me. So first thing, I did research on this bag and I you know looked at this bag online. Uh, and I watched a lot of YouTube videos before I spent my Christmas money on this bag and I definitely thought it was going to be a little bit larger than it is. So surprise, it is definitely a mini bag. I would say it's analogous to, it's somewhere between, it's like my Nano Speedy, then this one, then my Pochette SSR. I would say that that's the lineup. So I would say it's right in between the Nano Speedy and the Pochette SS4. And it does have this little, it's supposed to be a change purse, but this thing, I just, this is, I know people put their hair, AirPods in here, but I don't really have a need for AirPods right now. When I'm out, I just use those at home when I'm working out and that's the only time I use them. Sometimes on calls and things, but it's my hand sanitizer pocket. How great is that? You can put your hand sanitizer in there and then if you go into a store or you know, wipe, wipe down a shopping cart or something, you don't have to dig through your bag for your hand sanitizer because it's right there. Very handy. Also, it has this detachable strap, which is where the hand sanitizer is, by the way, which is really cool. But I have a um, bandolier iPhone case. And so it's one of those ones that has the pocket that I don't use on the back to put cards, but it also has the little D rings here. So with this bag, even though I know I'm mixing my hardware, I've got gold and silver, so bad. <laughs> if I wanted to, I can, for easy access, I can wear my phone like right here, like that, if I just, if I really did just want to take my phone and some hand sanitizer, I could do that. I don't know. <laughs> I, it, you can, I haven't done it yet, but I mean, it's something that I thought of. I have seen people wear this as a belt, which I thought was such a super cool idea and I was looking forward to it, but it doesn't quite 
fit or it doesn't quite fit correctly on me I don't think I don't think it looks right as a belt so I guess you just clip it like this in the front I don't know I think it just I don't know I don't think it looks that's the smallest it goes and so I don't I don't know maybe if I put it through the loops of some jeans it would look different but the like the saggy I don't I don't like it but it seemed like a, a really cute idea at the time so how do I like this bag one I think it's you know obviously really cute and then you can use the strap just you get that 90s vibe um which I think is well they claim it's 2005 but I think it still is kind of a 90s vibe. I'm gonna leave the strap off for just a second as I go through this. So it's definitely smaller than I thought it would be. And I'm just gonna show you what does fit in here very comfortably. Obviously I can put my phone in here as well. Um, I keep wearing it with sweaters that are kind of fuzzy. And so the fuzzy gets stuck in the Prada logo. Be aware of that. I don't think that that's a deal breaker for anyone, but just be aware of that. Um, what I currently have in here is my, we, we have talked about this. If you subscribe to my channel, you know we have talked about this. I am no longer purchasing bags that cannot fit a mini pochette. So the mini pochette is in here. I know this just underwent a huge price increase. Do I think that you should still get it? Yes, absolutely get this. This is the most functional, best piece in the entire Louis Vuitton universe. I love this thing. It, I'm not putting it down anymore. It just makes my life so much easier. If I can only fit one thing in the bag, it's gonna be this. It's not gonna be anything else. But I have this in there and in here I have my keys, my lip gloss. Um, yeah, I keep my keys in here. So I think that that you know, lessens the need for another SLG and it's just super quick and easy to find. It does not take up that much room in this bag. So it sits. This is with everything in it, minus my phone, because my phone is right there. But it doesn't take up that much room. And then you can just leave it open and use it as a divider, because there are no other pockets in this bag. So to find things quickly and easily, you can just, I think like the very first thing I have on top there is my lip gloss, and it just makes my life easier. So mini pochette definitely fits. The next thing I have in here is my Louis Vuitton reverse monogram card holder. Another one that I purchased relatively recently. I wasn't gonna get another card holder. Like I was done with card holders. I had my YSL, I had Chanel, I was, I was good, right? Um, but I had been stocking this on the website, you know, for ever, I think ever since it came out, never saw it, never, not one day did I see this item. And then Christmas, it popped up as add to bag. And I was like, and I just did it, you know, it was Christmas. Might have had some wine in my system. I really like it though. I did have the basic one, the just the LV basic card holder, and I, I sold it because, I don't know, I don't even know why I sold it, but I sold it, but it was definitely not as malleable as this one. I don't have any cash in the center pocket at the moment, but you could easily put cash in there. And I think this one is much more flexible and very slim, I love it, highly recommend. That's what I'm using for right now. I have my sunglasses, which would normally be kept in this case, but I took them out because I was out yesterday. And so I have my sunglasses and they're Ray-Ban um, aviator, so they're very, very slim. And then I, oh no, I have something else. I have this little tiny, can I say it, like native deodorant. I got this as part of like a little holiday thing at Christmas and, um, Thought I would give it a try. It's cute. Threw it in my bag. It's all good. And then finally, 